yeah, that's not, admission too. Can't be that. But uh, yeah. you, you could either drive to Milwaukee or you could drive down, all the way down to Springfield or you could drive to Pecatonica starting tomorrow. That's true. That's We're true. Still in the 815. Yeah. That's on 816 day. Winnebago <laughs> County Fair officially gets underway here tomorrow. And uh, I really do think that uh, not only is it worth the trip uh, or worth the travel. Uh, it is uh, going to be very, very pleasant in terms of the weather here to kick off. You know, any of the events that are going on right now, no problems whatsoever. Just take a look at those high temperatures. Those are about as pleasant as they come this time of year, or really any time of the year. Here's where we stand right now. We're mid 70s across the board. Dew points very, very comfortable in the 50s by and large. Now the air is dry, which means we're going to cool off very quickly here tonight. Uh, especially given the fact that our winds, which are for the time being out of the north, will go very, very light, if not calm. They will shift back to the southwest here much later on tonight. So if you're planning on heading out to any of the uh, 815 day events uh, later on this evening, you are in good, good shape here. 76 at 6 o'clock, 74 comes 7 o'clock. We are cloud free in 71 at 8 o'clock. Now, once the sun goes down, we'll cool off even more quickly. So maybe you're thinking later dinner at Food Truck Tuesday. I would say the light jacket anytime after about 8 o'clock as we'll fall into the 60s rather quickly. This is Max Storm Tracker presented by Anderson Nissan. A little feature off to the north here. Could spring a couple of clouds our way later on tonight. That's it. Here's our weather maker from yesterday. The area of low pressure well off to our east, bringing some unsettled weather to the eastern. Great Lakes tonight problem free and probably cloud free here. We're down to 50. That should be 54 degrees with that mainly clear sky uh, back to the Skeeter meter here. Uh, we are starting to see drier air work back into the region and that will allow for the mosquito activity to come down quite nicely here. Still might deal with it a little bit tomorrow as we infuse just a little bit more warmth and humidity and then as we dry things out very, very nicely Thursday, Friday. That should be a, a non issue. Sunshine is to dominate here as we go into our uh, Wednesday. Come tomorrow night and into Thursday, there will be a very weak cold front that will be swinging through the region. Could touch off a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. I think we kick that out here in time for the bus stop to come around here uh, Thursday morning. First day of school for many on Thursday. Northwesterly winds will blow throughout the day, meaning it will be a very, very comfortable day. There's no denying that whatsoever, and we'll keep the winning trend going well into Friday as well. So short term, we're looking good, and also we're looking very, very quiet with just that one rain chance that comes our way Wednesday night into Thursday. Outside of that, things turn dry, and by the weekend, things turn hot. In fact, things look to turn very hot here. Again, the coolish trend, the seasonable trend continues for another couple of days by the weekend and then even into next week. We've got a huge hot air dome that's on the horizon, still spelling several days in the 90s. Tomorrow, though, I think we make it up into the upper 70s to lower 80s. 83 is where we ultimately end up tomorrow. 79 on Thursday, some showers mainly early in the day. 80 degrees on Friday. And then things turn hot, very hot, beginning on Saturday, Sunday up to 96. Oh. And then we stay in the 90s here Monday and Tuesday as well. Oof. So enjoy right now. Yeah. Enjoy it while we can here because uh, Mother Nature is not done with us and not ready to, or not done sending the heat our way. Uh huh. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Coming up.